We know what we have, let's hold on tight Found what we're looking for in life Welcome back guys. Today is a beautiful day here at the homestead. I was feeding the chickens a snack, a black soldier fly larvae. And a few weeks ago, a company by the name of Hycea contacted me and asked me if I wanted to try a pair of their boots. And I said yes, and that's what we're gonna do today. So I got the boots a couple of days ago and I requested uh, work boots, specifically steel toe boots, which is something that I can use outside working with the wood and cutting and splitting. And they are a hundred percent leather. Let me open them up for you. Oh, and by the way, the name is Hycea. Some people pronounce it Hycea, but it is Hycea. Now, if you spoke Spanish, the H will be silent and in Spanish will be Isea. So again, these are work boots. Let's see. Yeah, there we go. Steel toe, all leather. They look great. Steel toe, like I said earlier. Yep, there's a label. And here's some padding to protect the ankles. It feels good. So, yeah, let's uh, take this thing out from inside. Yeah. I like them. They look very, uh, very nice. And it also has a removable insole in case you wanted to put your own insole. There we go. Yep. This particular boot is a size 12. And I'm gonna link them below, by the way, guys. And there is a 15% discount on all Hycea's uh, footwear. And the discount code is Ovi. So you get a 15% discount if you use my discount code. I'm gonna put them on. Yeah, I can't wait. And by the way, guys, there's a lifetime warranty. So just follow the instructions on their website. Yeah, lifetime warranty for all of Hycea products. All right, time to put them on. Yeah, they feel comfortable, guys. And during very cold weather, I can put a second pair of socks. Yeah. Oh, I like them already. They feel very nice. Oh yeah. They feel nice. Yep. All right, what am I gonna do now? I'm gonna put these boots to the test. I'm gonna go outside to cut wood and they are feeling mighty comfortable right now. Oh yeah. And they look good too. As a lot of you know, I've been using my military uh, boots that I, I've had for many, many years. And why? Because they, they have steel toes, kind of like the, the new high seas. Because if you're out there uh, cutting wood, you don't want anything like a log or something falling on your foot and, and uh, squashing it. You, you want to be protected. You want to make sure that your feet are protected from anything falling on them. So yeah, I, they feel super comfortable. And let's go outside and start working with them. Oh, and by the way, you want to see something cool? Check this out. This is my 1952 pickup truck. And this is how you open the gate. <laughs> Super simple, but it worked back in the day. Oh, and wait a minute. Let me show you something even cooler. This is gonna blow your mind. Check this out. 
Okay. Do you have any idea where the battery is for this type of truck? Check this out. Right here on the floor by the uh, passenger side. Check it out. It's right there. Wow. Yeah, I haven't connected it in many, many years. Isn't that cool? Right on the passenger side. Wow. Oh, and by the way, this truck is going to be a lot of work. I'm discovering a lot of little things, but that's for another video. All right, so today we're going to cut a few logs here. I may split them by hand or maybe use my log splitter over there. We'll see. Let's go get that chainsaw. All right, guys, so today's tip of the day is how to winterize your still MS250 chainsaw. This is, again, the MS250. So what you do, you open up the cover and you see this little tab, this little thing here, this kind of like a tab. Yeah, you just pull it out and you flip it upside down. And you want to do this when the temperature falls below zero degrees Fahrenheit. And there you go, you insert it back in. And what that, what that does, it now allows the hot air from the engine to come into, into this filter and warms up the carburetor and all the parts in here for better efficiency during the winter. Now, don't forget that in the summer when the temperature goes up above 32 degrees or 30 degrees, flip it again and then to summer mode. You see this? This blocks the hot air coming in from the engine, but because it's winter now, we want to flip it the other side. It's that simple, guys. And now I'll have a much more efficient uh, chainsaw for winter use. Easy, right? Super easy to work with. That's it, I'm done. I have gas, I put the chainsaw lubricant oil, I'm ready to go. Let me tell you guys, I'm really enjoying my boots. They feel super, super comfortable. There we go, guys. Yeah. They're great for climbing. They're very comfortable. Oh yeah. Let's get the show on the road. And guys, when the logs are this thin, I don't even measure them. I kind of like eyeball them. They're kind of light. I do want to cut anywhere between 24 to 30 for something this small. However, if it was something bigger, like this one, 
only 23 24 inches but when they're small kind of like this one too yeah you don't have to measure I don't anyway All right, guys it's a little warm today it's about 35 degrees right now and yeah it's starting to feel super super warm and the boots are warm they're super comfortable as well I definitely like them and I can see myself retiring my old Navy combat boots and using this all the time so I'm glad that the company reached out to me thank you Hysia definitely like them a lot so yeah <laughs> I'm gonna be using these for years and what company do you know that gives you a lifetime warranty right that uh, I haven't seen that before and these are about 60 bucks like I said earlier and comparable boots are two or three times the price and these are definitely affordable and I'm gonna get a lot of good use here here working at the with the wood cutting splitting for years to come hopefully yeah yeah, I got them a little dirty, but yeah, it's only sawdust, but boots, work boots are not supposed to be clean. They're supposed to be dirty all the time. And there you go, guys. In just a few minutes, I was able to cut all these pieces. Most of them, yeah, they really don't weigh all that much. And they're kind of thin. I may split some of the bigger ones right there, but I still have a few logs that I want to cut definitely the smaller ones and maybe i'll cut one or two of the bigger pieces i'm gonna take a little break from cutting the wood and i'm gonna show you what i did over here at the garden now today is what january saturday the 7th of january my kale is still alive so yeah look at that and we've had lots of cold days and this is my swiss chard very well alive as well it's going to survive winter and sometime in april yeah it's gonna it's gonna grow again like before and as some of you know i planted garlic in this bed and yeah i'm looking forward to seeing the shoots in april sometime in april and harvesting garlic in july maybe garlic takes a long time so stay tuned because i'm going to keep you posted and you're going to see if i pull any garlic out of there you will see it and also i'm going to put a couple more beds here two more wood beds four by eight yeah i'm going to fill this up a little bit here 
and I'm gonna do another arch kind of like I had there two cattle panels between the new beds that's gonna go here and this other bed that's already there so yeah so I'll have twice the space to grow uh, anything I want basically <laughs> So yeah guys, they're a lot better than the other steel toe boots I had. Uh, definitely like them. All right, by the way, and guys, another tip I have is you should always have two chainsaws in case something happens to one or the other. You always have a spare. You don't want to stop in the middle of your job to take care of a chainsaw. So yeah, I, nothing happened today, but I like to have them both out here at the same time. And I used them both as you saw they're both great chainsaws now that that echo has a small engine compared to the still and that's still relatively small but the still has a lot more power than the smaller echo but they're excellent chainsaws i've had that for maybe 20 years and this i've only had for a year all right guys so it's that time of day i'm going to split this piece with them all let's see Right, it bounced a little bit. This thing is heavy. Okay. The reason is I hit it right in the middle. That's a no-no. You should hit on the corners. Oh, that's a tough cookie. <laughs> yeah. One, it's unseasoned. Two, it's hardwood. It's gonna be tough. Oh! Oh yeah, that one was tough. So I'm not gonna split the others by hand. I'm gonna use the split machine. Ah, I am beat. I spent a few hours outside doing that kind of work. Yeah, but I don't have to go to the gym today. So <laughs> I feel good. All I need is a little bit of water. So make sure if you're doing this kind of work, hydrate even in winter. So again, uh, I see a boots. I really like them. They're comfortable, all leather, steel toes, like I said earlier. So this is gonna be my new boot from now on. Yeah, I should have done this a very, very long time ago. And I'm gonna link these boots and the muck boots on the description of this video. You're gonna have two links, one for work boots and another one for muck boots. And when you check out, make sure to put in the code OVI and you're gonna get 15% off on all their footwear. So again, don't forget that code, OVI, okay? So, ah, yeah, it's been a good day. Yeah, I'm just gonna go inside, maybe have a cup of cafe. I don't know, uh, definitely a glass of water. So you guys have a good morning, afternoon, or night, wherever you are. We'll see you tomorrow. All right, bye-bye. I'm